Hey everybody, welcome back. My name is Rob Baker from DFW Parties and welcome to my very messy warehouse today. Um, but this week's bonus footage, I wanted to talk about something uh, a little bit different. Uh, this was a random purchase. Um, you know, when you scroll through Facebook and you look at those ads and you know they're targeted to you, uh, as DJs we get that as well. Uh, and recently I saw an ad for this little guy. This is a tri -Lite speaker stand and they're actually made of LED strips uh, with a diffuser in there uh, and they've got these little legs here and it's actually designed to hold your speakers. I think I'm going to use them in certain applications or certain venues that I would consider upscale that I probably wouldn't use this for but a lot of parties uh, I think kind of okay so my, my reaction on this was th these were going to be really cheesy. Um, they had a special they were running them for 50 bucks, so I thought, what what the heck, let's check it out, let's see what we got. So I'm going to set one of these up for you. I'm actually, I'm actually going to use this as a light stand and not so much a speaker stand. I figure if you've got lights from above kind of shining and then you can use this as kind of the base, uh, we can definitely check it out and see what we got going there. So let's set it up and see what we think. It's like any other stand. Drop my pan here. This at a height that we can see in your video. It's also surprisingly for fifty dollars. It's got the cushion top, so when you take your speakers off, it lightens the load. So when you do that, it's pretty darn handy. And when you consider that you know normal speaker stands run thirty to forty dollars, and this thing was fifty. Um, it's kind of a bargain. I don't know if it's a loss leader price or what, but uh, uh, I think I paid fifteen dollars shipping. So you're looking at $65 a light. So I mean, you go to you know the the uh, music store, you're going to end up paying you know 35, 40 bucks anyway. So I mean, we're looking at a probably a pretty good deal here. So so I'm just going to take my mini four bar. It's just an old school mini four bar, and I have an adapter. Let me show you this. I have an adapter here that takes it from the small stand to the big stand. Obviously, we're going to do this much higher. And so, what I've done is I've got a power splitter. So, one power is for the actual four bar, and then the power that's included is the power supply for the lights themselves here. The uh, power bank is right here, as is the infrared control. Uh, for the remote control uh, to run the device. And you can see it light up. I'm going to turn the light off. So obviously here's a cool, cool effect. Um, I'll turn those four bars up a little bit. All right, so you've got obviously above the cool four bar effect, and then down here, um, I was thinking this wasn't going to be that cool. That's why I bought two of them because I wanted to have a set. But I thought, what an inexpensive way to get kind of a cool effect. Um, I've got this on color fade. It has a music chase mode. Uh, you can actually even pick a small sampling of sample colors. Now you can't do a custom color. Uh, but it does do your red, your blue, your green, light blue, greenish blue, yellow, um, some of the harder colors to get. But I love the color fade just because it's softer on the eyes. It's not such a harsh, you know, when you're dancing, just that constant blinking. Sometimes people don't like that. Uh, but the color fade creates that. Now here's the added benefit though, is I used these the other night for the first time and I was... I was pretty far from the dance floor. I had to be far from the dance floor. And it, it was a situation where the lights, it dictated the lights were not close to me. So I put a pair of these on a normal garden remote, powered just a powered remote uh, with a little clicker. And I was able to, over the DJ booth, just kind of take the clicker, boom, pop them. A pair of these come on. 
as the dance party started. And what it does though is because this isn't behind me in this particular event, I always worried about people falling on those things. You're dealing with a black stand in a black dark venue. Uh, it's hard to see. For me, that's a liability issue. I worry about that kind of stuff. So I generally, if I am somewhere, I, I don't put lights out. But what this does is it creates about as bright a barrier as you could possibly hope for, letting people know that, hey, you know, they're, I'm here, you know. So it creates the awesome effect uh, above, and then it creates a really cool effect below. So for a lot of gigs, this is cool. There's some ones that I probably wouldn't do it with. There's some, you know, really high-end events. But I think even your fun, party-ish wedding receptions, and I always ask my clients, you know, what are you looking for? And if they're like, hey, we're looking for that party, we're looking for the dancing, we want a fun experience when it's time to, you know, switch from the elegant side to the party side. This is actually a nice little uh, add-on here. So um, I'm going to use this. I think I'm going to use this. I ordered two more. Uh, the price can't be beat. When you're dealing with $50 each plus $10, $15 shipping, um, I, I've got a hand to the guys at Trilight. Um, and they didn't pay me for this in any way. Just I want that to be clear. They didn't pay for an endorsement or anything like that. This is just something that... I checked out, and then when I saw it, it was like pretty cool. So I thought this would make a great uh, bonus video for my tech friends. So here you go. Uh, that's all we got for this week, but I will see you soon, and let's catch up. Thanks. Oh, and check out the vlog. Um, this is my new project. I'm a couple episodes in. Uh, this is going to be an ongoing thing. Some of it's going to be about how to wedding market. Some of it's going to be for brides. It's basically just a, a day in the life type video. I would love it if you would go to my YouTube channel. It's at youtube.com slash dfwparties and subscribe. I would love to have you as a subscriber. Oh, subscribe. I'd love to have you. I'm trying to build a little street cred with uh, YouTube and get some exposure and all that. So would love to have you. Thanks so much, and I will see you soon. Thank you.